Good afternoon and welcome back to my garage. All right, for those of you that are regular followers of my channel, you will see that the room has changed once again. Uh, and you will also note that it has been a while since I put out a video, but that is going to change. I have now completed both the systems in a configuration that is not going to get changed for a long, long time. I made new racks. I got new panels up on the roof. A lot of these components I have used are components that I have been recommending people, uh, people buy and put together for small systems. So this video is an introduction to the two new systems that we're going to uh, chart going forward for the next couple years. And you will have an idea what kind of power you can make and what kind of power you can harness uh, from the sun. So let's talk about what we got here. On this side is a 24 volt system over here. As you can see, the, we still have the two time USB batteries tied together with the same Ames 24 volt uh, 1500 watt inverter. I did buy a new EP Ever. Uh, that is a 30 amp version. Uh, I think it is the 3215N. It is a 12 and 24 volt charge controller. It does have a lithium preset on the inside, so you do not need the MT50 anymore to program the values to charge lithium batteries. It is all right in there. All you got to do is go through the directions and set it to lithium, and it's done. And as you can see, it's charging right now. Uh, that's what the top green flashing light means. It, it's putting power into the batteries. All right, so up on the roof for that system, we have a pair of 250-watt panels. I recommended them during the Prime Day sale. I actually bought two of them that day, and I bought two of these batteries down here. Uh, and then after they were on sale for $399 on Prime Day, these batteries here, uh, they came with two of these little monitors here for $399. Uh, each battery got one. So I bought a pair of those, and I was going to just use those 280 amp hour batteries, which is what these are, uh, and put them together for a 24 volt system for this side. As you can see, we now have uh, a Victron pure sine wave inverter. It is a 24 volt, 800 watt inverter. Now I have been doing some testing on it. It's a champ. Uh, it is not silent. That's the only thing I don't like about it. The Ames here will put out 1500 watts and not make a sound. But the Victron here has an audible whine. So I would not recommend it if you were using it in like a van or somewhere where you're going to have to sleep next to it. It actually has a slight hum. Now, I don't know if you can hear the hum right now. The hum you can hear is the DeWalt battery charging there. Uh, but if uh, in a future video, I'll make it quiet in this room and I'll put it up next to you. You'll be able to hear it. It does make an audible hum. Now, this is the 4415N, the original piece that I bought back in January, and it's been operating like a champ, and it now has 600 watts of panels up there on the roof. I bought six 100-watt panels and then wired them in pairs for 24 volts. So there are, uh, what do you say, 300 watts at 24 volts up there or 600 watts total. Uh, this system here has 500 watts total. Uh, both those panels on this system are 250 watts. I'm not sure if I said that or not. But uh, so this system is a little less. Uh, this system is a little overpowered, and uh, this system is a little underpowered for the batteries. As you can see, we now have four 280 amp hour batteries wired together for a 24 volt system. Uh, that should be about 10 days worth of the constant draw that runs on this system here. I think, you know what, we might, we're going to find out this winter, but we might have enough battery to make it. Uh, that is a huge battery for, for what I got. Uh, and the good news is, is the reason I got 800 watt inverter here, I used to have a 600 on that side, but I went to 800, is because I was hoping I could run the refrigerator off of this system if I needed to, along with the constant load uh, and the TV upstairs, and then keep this system alone just to run the sump pump uh, in case we're in an extended power outage. Uh, I know this summer I'm going to have more power than I know what to do with. Uh, but, hey, uh, that's a good problem to have, I guess. All right, now, the last thing about the system, and you know what, uh, let's, let's take a run outside. As a matter of fact, I think I know how to edit now. I was playing with it a little bit. We'll, we'll see if I can do that here. 
All right, and that's what's up on the roof now. As you can see, there's three sets over there on the right, and they're laid back now at 21 degrees. The new racks I made will lay back to 21 for the summertime and 38 degrees for the wintertime. Uh, on the left there is the pair of 250. See how my fancy dancy editing skills worked out. I hope, uh, hopefully this turned out real good, but uh, that's it for this one. Starting on the first, we're gonna chart everything. Let's hop in there right now and we can take a look at where we are if you're paying attention from the three month update. There's 655 kilowatts through this system and we are at 1,476 kilowatts lifetime total going through this system. The systems are currently putting out, this is the 600 watts, 2.8, 2.9 amps. And this is the 500 watt, putting out one, two amps. All right, well, that's it. See ya.